Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial. My name is Sasi Kumar from Digital Art Creation. In this tutorial, I will teach you guys how to connect the external CSV database file to Illustrator and use that CSV data to create designs inside Adobe Illustrator. So why do you need to create an external CSV file and use that data in Illustrator? Let's say for an example, if you are creating business cards for employees in your company, if it's like only a couple of employees, you don't need to worry too much. You can just straight away go to Illustrator and design the name cards there. But let's say if you have like 50 to 60 employees and there will be new employees joining in all the time and sometimes employees will quit. But every time if you need to create business cards or id cards for an example you can easily create the design in illustrator connect that design to a excel file then all you need to do is update the excel file once you update the excel file you run the action inside illustrator which will automatically create name cards or id cards for every user based on your database using this method you can save a lot of time also you can automate your design process so in this tutorial i will show you guys step by step how to prepare adobe illustrator to connect to an external database file and how to use microsoft excel to create the data sheet and export the data sheet as a csv file import the csv file into adobe illustrator and connect it to variables inside adobe illustrator and also create actions and automate the process so that you can run those actions to create multiple files whenever you update the excel sheet all right guys so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the name card the demo name card in here so let's set up the name card settings so i will change this to millimeters and the width uh 90 millimeters the name card size is different from country to country where i stay standard size is 90 millimeter width by 54 millimeter height sorry 54 millimeter and let's set up a bleeding in here i want to give five millimeter bleeding in each size cmyk okay color 300 ppi is all fine let's create the file okay so i will delete all these unnecessary palettes okay so let's start designing our name card here first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to rename this layer as base design please keep in mind guys the scope of this tutorial is to teach you guys how to connect the external csv file and use that data in variables inside illustrator so i'm not going to focus more on designing part of the name card in here so let's start designing our base design i'm going to place the dummy logo in this side in here and other side i'm going to place the names and stuff like that so for the logo i'm going to create some circles i'm going to copy like this and place it in here i will copy one more circle from here and place it in here now i'm just going to apply some multiple colors to these strokes and then i will just put a name below as my company let's put change the colors first all right so i think this is good enough for our logo then i will put a name as my company and maybe we change the font and select all of them and align nicely okay this look better now i'm going to align this to artboard as well center vertically and i'm going to separate this logo with the content inside the name card and i draw a line and select a color from the logo hello looks fine and also i apply a stroke profile which created the stroke thinner in both ends which will give a premium look to this line and all of these looking fine i just bring the company to the center of this portion let's start typing the content of this business card first thing name will be here and the designation i will put below 
and maybe we change the font size or later we can change also let's copy from here mobile number and copy from here again i will change this to office number just office will do and all track this one i'm going to change to email and let's make one more copy put it below here i will place the address i will just type a dummy address uh, this is not a real address just a dummy address random numbers and some street names uh, and a postal code in here all right so this will be a dummy address which we will be using for our name card okay now select everything and make the size smaller accept the name and let's go to designation and select bring it a bit more smaller than this bring it in here and these all we arrange closer together now select these and make the size a bit different than now select all of them align them make sure it's selected to align to selection all good now let's arrange them equally and let's change the size of it also okay i think this address is uh, this name card is looking good now i'm going to one make a copy and i will only have first letters of mobile and office and email these first letters are going to act as labels and we will connect these in here this mobile office and email to variable data also we will be connecting name designation to variable data as well now create a new layer in here let's rename this to dynamic data and i'm going to place all the data which are going to be dynamic into this layer okay name designation mobile office and email will be in this layer the other thing is like the logo and the address and the labels all the other static data is going to be in the background layer i just locked the base layer because we are not going to change anything for now all right guys so this is our basic design for our name card so in our next video let's make these mobile office email designation as variable data and also cre let's create an excel sheet with these variable data values and connect it all right see you guys in the next video